Predisure, a novel disruptive platform for mass real-time evidence-based infectious disease surveillance, forecasting and predictions with the potential to be expanded on a global scale. Infectious diseases kill millions of people worldwide every year. In 2020, so far, nearly 6 million people have died of infectious disease. In only six months, COVID-19 has killed over 400,000 people and infected over 8 million people. Lives are not the only costs. The annual global cost of infectious diseases is more than $500 billion and they are increasing in severity and frequency. COVID-19 alone is estimated to cost one, more than $1 trillion. So the question is, how can we accurately track real infectious disease cases in real time to forecast outbreaks and pandemics? This is a question that many people have asked, and there are solutions, but they're far from ideal. First, patient self-reporting apps that rely on crowdsourcing and patient self-diagnostics, like these apps, they produce large amounts of quite inaccurate data, as you can expect. GP and clinical surveillance apps, um, which rely on doctors registering cases. They are very accurate, but have very small, some small amount of data. In the UK or in England, only 360 GP practices participate in this program. AI-driven outbreak predictors, which essentially rely on published data or also on crowdsourcing uh, to make predictions using artificial intelligence. Um, and these are not timely enough and rely on secondary sources of information that might be outdated and incomplete. What is the solution? It's pretty sure. It's a fast, real-time, evidence-based infectious disease reporting and outbreak for forecasting platform. So how does it work? So when somebody has symptoms of COVID-19, for example, um, they either download our app and request a test, or they go to their local pharmacy and get a test there. So what kind of test will they get? They'll get a molecular diagnostic test that's extremely accurate, that takes less than 30, 13 minutes. In the case of COVID-19, it's less than six minutes. And in 10% of cases, um, the samples will be sequenced using a Minion technology. Uh, and this will take less than 48 hours. And in the specific case of COVID, it will take less than seven hours. The data will then be collected into our databases via the app. We will then integrate this data with mobility and interaction data from our model that we're working on. We will integrate it with weather forecasts, pollution information, and patient status information from the app. In order to train um, and analyze the data using data science algorithms and artificial intelligence, and thereby come up with outbreak prediction and prevention. And it's important to say that our app also will have a second function, which will be to track and trace like the apps that are being produced at the moment. So how will our system work? What will be our business plan? Who will be our clients? So first of all, our product will be the raw or analyzed data, uh, and we intend to sell it in tailored subscription packages to fit the needs of our different customers. Um, and our different customers would be essentially vaccine manufacturers, uh, which will benefit from our data because they'll be able to produce more specific and effective vaccines, and they'll be able to evaluate the performance of these vaccines. Um, public entities like Public Health England, the NHS, the CDC in the US, and in general, governments, um, which will be able to um, uh, uh, set up policy and pandemic preparedness um, measures that will mitigate the consequences of a pandemic, and they will save on hospital beds, um, and um, they will be able to um, evaluate antiviral drugs and vaccines that, have, um, that they have um, purchased from pharma companies. The drug manufacturers will also benefit since they'll be able to evaluate the, their drug performance and also uh, stock production. Pharmacies will benefit from stock evaluation and also from customer attraction since we'll be having stations in um, their uh, venues. Uh, and of a modern and innovative vision. 
how will we achieve um, our goals with the prize money? So um, we're in the middle of a, a terrible crisis, which has caused a lot of sadness and loss. And we think it's our responsibility to learn from this pandemic and use COVID-19 as an initial proof of concept. So we will first set up a genome sequencing platform. We will launch three test stations in pharmacies. We will negotiate partnerships with stakeholders, adapt open source Corona uh, app to um, our predator platform. This will allow us to, in the future, present results to investors and customers and thereby secure funding for future developments. So who are we? I'm Anna Pengeli, an MSc student at Imperial College, and this is Aaron Bjorn Krebel Insen. He's a PhD student also at Imperial College, and these are our advisors. I will now leave you with quotes from what professionals we consulted and our advisors think about our project. Thank you very much.